Ventus' real-time motion graphics system with an emphasis on data, hence our slogan, real-time, data-driven motion graphics. The real-time part of the Ventus tagline means that your graphics are rendered on the fly, like a video game. This gives Ventus the flexibility to easily make modifications to your graphics and have the changes applied instantly. Data is the key in Ventus. Using Ventus, external data can be displayed in a graphically attractive way, but it can also use that data in combination with advanced logic to make your graphics react automatically to new data inputs. Ventus software is used in various markets to produce astonishing graphics that must be rendered in real time, such as broadcast, pro AV, experiential design, and live events. In broadcast, Ventus is used for all typical broadcast graphical requirements such as channel branding, sports graphics, news and game shows, in-studio displays and video walls, as well as virtual sets and mixed reality. In the professional audiovisual market, Ventus is used from high-end digital signage and multi-megapixel displays to live events and corporate presentations. Its remarkable data management tools and how simple it is to turn this data into beautiful graphics makes Ventus the perfect solution for any event or installation that must present substantial amounts of data in a way that is both captivating and attractive. The ability to design and produce amazing experiences is another key market for Ventus. Flexibility in design allows for the creation of anything from huge megapixel displays to small interactive kiosks for sports arenas, trade shows, museums, flagship retail stores, corporate headquarters, and more. With our wide support for control devices and expandability, Ventus brings the tools to create world-class experiences for theme parks, exhibitions, and location-based entertainment. The growing esports market is another prime example of Ventus versatility. Ventus is commonly used for both sports graphics and in sports arenas, both of which are common requirements of many esports events. The openness Ventus provides many ways to retrieve both in-game graphics and game data to be integrated and displayed on-site, on-air, or distributed as streamed video content. Ventus software can be freely downloaded from the Ventus website, ventus.com. The installation process is simple. Just run the installer on a Windows PC and follow the on-screen instructions. After you have successfully completed the software installation, you'll find a new Ventus technology folder in your start menu, with shortcuts to all the applications included as a part of Ventus. Ventus Designer is the main Ventus application, and the one that will be covered the most in future tutorials. Designer is the application that allows you to create your graphics, layout, and structure, connect to external data sources and control devices, and program your graphics internal logic, all in a visual, node-based graphical interface. Ventus Runtime is the foundation for all other Ventus products and is the engine that renders your graphics in real time. Runtime scales to enable your graphics to be displayed on extremely large and pixel-dense displays by leveraging distributed rendering across clusters of machines and squeezing the maximum performance out of your hardware. Ventus Director is our control application that enables the control of many runtime systems from a simple and streamlined user interface. It also offers advanced functionality such as making last minute changes to your graphics, creating playlists, or triggering different graphics independently as the show is running live. Ventus Studio is a convenient package that bundles the Ventus main applications, Designer, Director, and Runtime into a single license that provides you with all of the tools needed to create a Ventus project from start to finish. In addition to the main applications, the Ventus installer always includes two other important pieces of software, the Ventus Configuration Editor and Ventus License Manager. The Ventus Configuration Editor is the application you use to set up many of the parameters that will affect your project, such as data connection ports or supported character sets. However, its most important function is that it contains the settings to configure your machine's inputs and outputs for both audio and video, and the tools used to create multi-display and multi-projection setups. This includes controls for overlap areas and bezel correction, as well as warping to adjust your output screen geometry. The last important application is the Ventus License Manager. This is the tool used to install and control your Ventus licenses. Recently, Ventus introduced a new online user portal where Ventus license owners can more conveniently check their existing licenses and maintenance status. A link to the user portal can be found below in the video description. 
Starting on July 2020, we decided that we needed to help ease the adoption of our software, so we created three addition levels to help better facilitate the access to the Ventus world. We started by creating a 100% free version called Ventus Studio Community Edition. The Community Edition can be downloaded from our website for free and includes most of the Ventus functionality with a few limitations, like a maximum output resolution of 4K, a limit of 500 hierarchy nodes, and a tidy watermark on the rendered outputs. Furthermore, projects and scenes created using the free Community Edition can be saved and used with any of the other commercial products. The download link to the Community Edition can be found below in the video description. We also created another version of Ventus Studio called Core Edition. Core Edition is fully featured with all the tools available in Ventus Enterprise, but with a maximum project resolution limit of 4K. Core Edition is also available as runtime to allow the deployment of projects that require multiple systems rendering different outputs. Finally, Ventus Enterprise Edition is our fully featured tier without any restrictions in terms of functionality. Enterprise Edition is available as individual products designer, runtime, or director, or as part of a studio package. And last, but not least, is the Ventus Prototyping and Learning Edition. This version is meant only for testing and learning. The PLE Edition includes all of the functionality of Ventus Enterprise, but it presents a large watermark on all the rendered outputs. Additionally, projects created using the Prototyping and Learning Edition are not compatible with any other edition of Ventus. This means that projects created using the PLE can only ever be used with the PLE. You can check the link to our webpage that describes the different Ventus editions with greater detail in the video description below. Ventus features a comprehensive set of tools. However, some functionality is so specialized for specific workflows, we decided it would be better to separate these into additional packages, all of which can be optionally added to the Enterprise Edition. All these additional features are based around the inputs, render pipes, and video outputs. At Ventus, we never charge extra for video inputs, so you can work with as many video sources as your hardware can handle. Render pipes are the separate render scenes that your software can handle in parallel. As of today, Ventus can support up to four concurrent render pipes on all of our additions. Talking about video outputs, all Ventus additions support as many physical video outputs as are supported by your graphics card. Ventus currently supports SDI input and output hardware for both fill and key from various vendors such as DeltaCast, Aja, Blackmagic Design, and Datapath. You can check the link in the description for a more detailed list of supported vendors and hardware models. Nonetheless, we decided to pack some additional features as optional broadcast packages that include SDI fill and key output, extended support for professional broadcast codecs and camera tracking integration with systems from NCAM, Stipe, Mosis, and Trackman. Finally, Ventus is also integrated with broadcast newsroom systems like Avid iNews, EMPS, Octopus, or Anova Open Media using the MOS protocol, all of which require an additional package and support. If you need additional information about these advanced features, please contact our Ventus sales team. This section is not meant to be a comprehensive description of the hardware required to run Ventus, but rather a brief introduction to what you will need to run it comfortably. For more recent and detailed information, we strongly suggest that you check our user's manual. Link is in the description below. Ventus runs on Windows Professional 64-bit only. We recommend using Windows 10, however, Windows 8.1 is also supported. Being a real-time render engine, the most important hardware component for Ventus is the GPU. We currently support both NVIDIA and AMD graphics hardware. Although consumer-level gaming boards can work with Ventus, we strongly recommend using professional-grade hardware like the NVIDIA Quadro or AMD Radeon Pro product lines. When it comes to choosing a processor, our recommendations are like what we would recommend for GPUs. Ventus can run on consumer-grade CPUs without a problem, like the Intel Core and AMD Ryzen CPU families, but, as with GPUs, we recommend using professional CPUs like the Intel Xeon and AMD Threadripper or Epic product ranges. In any case, we strongly recommend processors with higher clock speeds and higher core count rather than multi-CPU configurations. Memory is another crucial component for Ventus, especially when dealing with large sets of data or high-resolution textures. For memory, more is always better. Faster memory and larger capacity will all benefit Ventus in terms of performance. Just check what your processor and motherboard support and choose an ideal configuration. However, as a minimum, we would recommend 16GB of RAM. Storage is also important for certain Ventus projects. 
especially when dealing with large numbers of or huge assets like high resolution video clips. In general, we recommend solid state storage. SSDs or NVMe drives are highly recommended for their high data throughput. The Ventus software includes a comprehensive contextual help system that can be accessed from within the application by pressing the F1 key. But you don't need to have a copy of Ventus installed on your computer to check the user manual. We always feature a copy of our latest user manual on our website, ventus.com. When you press the F1 key in our software, you not only gain access to the user manual, but you also load full Ventus scenes with interactive examples of how to use that feature specifically. Furthermore, these scenes are not only demonstrating the functionality, but they are completely open so that you can reuse parts of them as a guide to achieve your own desired result. You can even copy and paste parts of the sample scenes into your own project. Now that you have learned the very basics about what Ventus is, we hope that you will download our software and begin your very own content creation journey. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, as we will be regularly updating it with new content, and join us on Discord.